finally going to take on this roofing job on the Century Shack. I think I shot a little bit of video here when I was looking at it. I think it was last summer. It was such a hot day, I guess I lost my ambition and never did get back to it. And here we are. Now oh, that board's in rough shape. April 26th, I think. I think I'm gonna have a go at it here. It's in rough shape. It's been leaking, rotted through the boards. So I use my uh, uh, traditional nail or shingle remover, which works pretty well. Same one I used over there on that uh, old wooden oat bin. I think that'll be coming up on two years ago now. So this isn't going to be too exciting. Just me pulling nails for the next hour or so. I don't want to leave too many on the ground in case I run over them with the riding mower and get a flat tire. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. I wish I could fix that board. It's got a nasty lean to it. Well, I see by the angle of the sun, it's time to shut her down for dinner. Anyway, I spent most of my time pulling nails here. I see I missed one. I think that's about as far as I'm going to go with removing old shingles at this point. I'm going to start putting on some of the new recycled 70-year-old uh, sheet metal. So for now, out of here. I really got lucky with the weather so far. There's very little wind. And it's warm, pushing the 60 degree mark. With a little luck, I'll get that part of the roof covered today. Got a whole bunch of measuring to do first. So, now we'll get on with that. Most of those boards are in pretty fair shape, considering they are 100 and... about 117 years old. Real wood. Not your prep sawdust OSV junk they used to build with today. Well, there's some progress here. What a changeable day. Clouds rolled in and that wind is actually kind of cold now. Anyway, I think one more sheet and that'll pretty much do it. What I'm coming up to here is the uh, line that divides the new addition from the old original homestead shack. This was all they had from uh, 1903 to uh, 1910 or a little later, I guess. And uh, after that point, all this was added on, which uh, made quite, a, quite an addition to the space. Looks like slightly wider boards. It's in rough shape. I don't know if it's going to survive or not. I'd like to preserve this old original shack, but uh, even it is uh, having a few problems down here. These vertical logs in the walls are settling. Oh, solid, but uh, 
I can see the sag, the wall is actually leaning a bit to the north. What it needs is to have the wall jacked up and some uh, some sort of base, either rocks or possibly cement. Even railway ties would be better than nothing. Stop her from settling any further. But that's uh, somewhere down the road. For now, I just want to get the roof covered, keep the rain out. Interesting construction here. They put laths on top of the logs and then plastered over, painted it white, and it's lasted for, I would guess, a hundred years or more. Plaster starting to. Oh, there goes a piece. You see how it was locked in between the laths when they slather it on there. And it dries and uh, locks in until. Oh, lovely. Until the walls start to settle and move and uh, things start to shift. Anyway, less talking, more uh, action here. I gotta pick up another sheet and uh, get that on and then finish off a little strip along the bottom. That's gonna take probably as long as the entire roof did, but. Uh, Well, that was loud. Put your ordinary wood blade in backwards. Cuts like crazy. Might have to snip that off. Nice quiet evening. Still got a snowbank over there. I guess we'll call it a day as far as roofing. It's looking pretty good. Hope you found it interesting, entertaining, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.